Hey guys, it's Becky from thecookierookie.com and today I'm bringing you one of my favorite easy recipes, four ingredient beer can queso. You guys know I love a cheese dip recipe. I get crap for it all the time, people making fun of me about my intense love of cheese. But this is a favorite recipe because it is so simple. It's made in under 10 minutes and it stays that smooth consistency for a really long time, which is a really nice plus when making a queso recipe. We love this as a dip for game day, served with chips or even poured over fajitas or chicken or whatever you like. It's an awesome, unique cheese dip recipe that I think you're gonna love. Let's get started. I'm gonna start with your favorite light beer. It can be any brand. And you can even get creative and use something like Bud Light Lime or something that has an extra flavor in there if you wanna make the queso extra unique. This is beer bottle queso today because I didn't think ahead, but it works just the same. So we've already heated our skillet and we're gonna pour the beer right in and allow it to come to a boil. And it's okay if it foams a little bit while it comes to the boil, just make sure that your pan is big enough where it's not gonna boil over. While the beer comes to a boil, which might take a couple minutes, let's cut our cream cheese into cubes. I'll just make it melt easier into the beer once we're ready to add it. So now this is cubed and our beer is boiling, we're gonna add the cream cheese into the beer and be really careful not to burn yourself. There we go. And just stir until it's gonna melt. We're gonna use a whisk once it starts melting a little bit. We want things to be really smooth. take a minute to melt but just give it a little time it'll melt and be really creamy once your cream cheese is all melted and smooth as you can see we're gonna add our cheese in batches I like this recipe with four cups cheese if you're worried about calories which you shouldn't be you can add three cups it'll still be good but just slightly less creamy when we're ready add your cheese in batches you want to melt it in between the batches so that everything melts really well do a little at a time So you can see things are nice and melty and gooey and amazing just like cheese dip is. We're gonna add in a can of Rotel. You don't have to drain it. We're just wanting some spice and some variation to the cheese dip, but you can eat it just like this. If you want it spicy, Rotel is the way to go. So we're just gonna add an entire can right into the mix. And just stir that in. And just like that, we have an amazing cheese dip four ingredients. I love this as a variation on that classic Velveeta Rotel dip because it has real cheese and the beer flavor is really bright and fun. It's just a great recipe for entertaining. And that's it. Hop over to thecookierookie.com for the full recipe. Mm -hmm.